We're going down to the gate to pick up something FedEx left us. This we bought from Harbor Freight and it's for the truck camper. Okay, there's gonna be weird shadows, but that's just the way it's gonna be because that's where the park parked here where the shadow is. And this is with something we bought. This is for the truck camper situation and we're going to use this. We got it from Harbor Freight. It's gonna go right in there, put our bicycles on this, hopefully, and that's the plan anyway. So we're gonna open it, open it. Okay, looks like it comes in two pieces. Well, the main part of it is two pieces. Gonna be some assembly required. And here is the owner's manual and cautions, la la la, okay. Here's where it gets started telling you what to do to put it together. It appears to be fairly straightforward. You got a parts list and a diagram of the entire thing. So Dave's putting together the Harbor Freight cargo carrier. doing it Dave style. I'm gonna get a video of that too. So I know. Well that you missed it. I took a picture, I'll insert that. But uh, Dave's got the welder out because he needs to use it. And it wasn't working and he took the cover off the side here and look this right here is the remnants of a mud dauber nest those of you who live in the if you live in Texas I'm sure that you know what these are if you don't you can look it up but it's a kind of wasp like creature and they build little nests like this out of mud you can see all the like, residue and here's some part of it back here there's still some they get in everything and they mess things up and it's kind of a pain Anyway, the reason he's got the welder out is because we are modifying the Harbor Freight uh, hitch platform thing here that we bought to haul our... This, the reason we got this, the main reason, was to put our bicycles on. And they sell a receiver bicycle rack that actually is really nice and it'll swing out of the way. But gosh, are they... They really are proud of them. They're super expensive. Uh, Dave probably could have built one, but to save time and like messing around with that, we just decided that this would be a good solution. And also we may be able to use it for other things in addition to the bikes. <laughs> He's got a mud topper. They're on everything. It's a conspiracy against your welding. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, back to the bike rack thing. So this um, piece of steel tubing here, and he's got it bolted on, and he's going to weld, weld something because he's going to have another brace here in the middle. And we're going to secure our bicycles to that. Here's the piece he's going to weld. He had to make it kind of give it a little bit of a an angle. It'll look better with paint. <laughs> what do you have to say? It'll work. Didn't even punch through yet. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to start a GoFundMe page to replace all our drill bits. Ta-da! 
all that's left to do is paint the the parts that they've added to this Harbor Freight carrier and both of our bikes fit on there we secure them to this upright support here and then also we're planning on probably strapping down the wheels but this is really really sturdy he's got uh, two braces on either side on the front here and then also this one that runs this way so it's not going anywhere and we still have room on there to possibly carry some additional something and the tailgate drops down and we can still open the door and get into the camper without needing to take the without needing to take the bicycles off so that is pretty much what we wanted to achieve and i would say that we have done it so yay